this is my meal to go. Um, 100 grams of oats that I put in there. Now, not, not many people sort of weigh their food, and I think it's very, very important to weigh your food because you know where you are, you know where you are with your calories, especially when you're coming into preparation for a show. For example, your trainer might say to you, right, I want you to drop 50 grams of carbs. Now, you don't know how many grams of carbs you're going to drop because you don't know how many your intake is. So I think it's really, really important. So, a couple of scoops of weigh in there. I'm just going to throw it together. I won't add the water because um, I just want you to see how quick it is just to prepare my stuff. So this is post. I'm just going to throw the post in quickly. So I use 100 grams, 50 grams of scoop, 100 grams. So two scoops. So two scoops is actually um, a serving, which is one full scoop, is 50 grams. So that's 50 grams of maltodextrin carbs. Now, I do normally use a Potago or Waxy Maze because it doesn't mess around with your insulin levels as much. And obviously with insulin levels, you have to be careful because you can gain fat. I won't go too much in depth with it. So I'll add the protein on this as well. So this is my post-workout, my intra-workout. I've taken quite a few products on the intra-workout. And sometimes I like to add grapefruit juice on my intra-workout because it just gives a nice taste. Obviously the myths of what grapefruit juice does, which I can explain another time. I'm uh, stealing my daughter's container here, so I'm going to do four scoops of this and I'll put up what this actually is, okay, so you can have a good read up. It has got extra glutamine in it, it's mainly branch chains and a few other bits and pieces which I will explain. So that is basically as quick as that. Taken a few minutes. So that's before I go training, intra, and when I finish the gym, then I'll explain my nutrition through the day. So I hope that gives you a little plan. Doesn't matter, same again, protein. I love my ISO2 protein. Very good, very tasty. I'll put a link up on there as well if you're interested in looking at their stuff. And um, also the muscle food, I'll put their link up when we start explaining with the food. So as I do with my weights, put everything away. Or I should say, told by the wife I should bet everything. So I'm just off down to the gym to have a little workout. I'm going to be doing, got to do some photos today, so I'm uh, going to just throw them in as well. So um, I've got my, as I said, to go, my, my shake to go. So because I'm driving, obviously it makes it a little bit easier just to get my carbs and my protein down for me, my slow, low glycemic, as they say, uh, just to get them down me before I uh, train. And then uh, I've got all my bits and pieces with me, my intro, and uh, then my post. And then I'll come home and I'll do my food preparation for the day. Uh, it's quite early, so um, sun's out, it's gonna be a nice day, so I'll speak to you soon. So i just done my local gym here for a little workout, a little bit back and biceps. So push the door the right way. Anyway, I'll uh, give you a little uh, shout what's going on. Yeah. So I've just finished my training session, just walking through my local park back home which just gives me a little bit of cardio I take my meals that I do throughout the day I've actually got through this here I've got five meals here I've got my hake steaks these hake steaks are really really nice um, 340 grams it gives me 36 grams of protein on these now these are 90% lean beef whereas a lot of hake steaks are around about 80% so they're a bit more fat like a beef burger um, then we go on to the chicken sausages these are one of my favorites really really nice very very tasty uh, there's six in there now each sausage is just under 15 grams of protein 14.7 and they're just under 100 calories per sausage so they're really really nice especially when you diet and it's nice to have a break just from your plain chicken breast or i sometimes tend to have a lot of turkey breast so it does make a big difference and as i said it's pure chicken breast that's been minced up and obviously been put into sausage form then i've got the two muscle food chicken breasts. Now these chicken breasts are so much different to what I have been getting in the supermarkets because I've noticed they contain a lot less water. So that only tells you one thing. So when I'm cooking these fruit, a lot less water comes out of them. So I always cook with my coconut oil as well. So I 
just think it gives a really, really nice flavour and it's also got some really good benefits as well, which I'll explain. So I'll cook these all up and I say this is five meals here, so this is quite a lot of protein here, so five meals and I'll uh, show you and cook them all up. So just adding a little bit of coconut oil. steaks on first, they cook nice and quick. Brilliant if you are having a uh, stretch for time and you need to cook something quick. So they're quite nice, quite big. So let's get the oil around. Pop them in. So that's my hate steaks cooked. So I've, uh, as you can see, I've sliced them in the top. That just cooks them a bit quicker. So I don't like to have my stuff on too long. So I'm gonna have this with 75 grams of, well, the, the weight is 75 grams of uncooked rice, uh, which I have just warmed up in here. And I'll have that. And then I'll have some sort of sauce, whether it's tomato sauce or mustard with these two hake steaks.